According to Merriam-Webster, trans-feminine people are those whose gender identity is partially or fully feminine and differs from the sex the person had or was identified as having at birth. They are people who were assigned male at birth but identify more with a feminine identity. Despite increased awareness of LGBTQIA issues, research around the reproductive health needs of trans and non-binary people has remained understudied. Cisgender women receive the majority of focus when it comes to the research into and conversations around birth control options. This is translated to the current contraceptive method mix that primarily targets people with uteruses, meaning that the responsibility for avoiding an unplanned pregnancy falls primarily on people with uteruses. Non-binary and transgender people are often left out of the greater conversation around sexual and reproductive health, including contraception. Typically, society views sexual and reproductive health services through a heteronormative gender binary lens, where protecting cisgender women from unintended pregnancies is the main focus. However, society's binary and cis women focused view of SRH has ignored the needs of people across the gender spectrum. This furthers the marginalization of already highly marginalized groups. There's a lack of awareness and sex education about LGBTQIA people and methods of birth control or general reproductive health. This means many people in this community have to fend for themselves or rely on potentially dangerous information. For example, a common misconception is that gender-affirming hormones can serve as an effective method to prevent pregnancy for everyone. However, trans-feminine people who produce sperm are still at risk of causing or experiencing an unintended pregnancy with their partner if they rely on these methods alone. Everyone across the gender spectrum deserves to have reproductive autonomy. We are working towards a world where everyone has access to sexual and reproductive health products and therefore more control over their family planning goals. Ideally, an effective contraceptive method addresses each user's unique needs. Non-hormonal, reversible male contraception can serve people that are both taking gender-affirming hormones and are concerned about causing an unintended pregnancy. In turn, this offers more freedom to choose the best option for themselves and their partner. While the field of contraception and reproductive health is evolving, there is still a need to be better. Healthcare has a vital need to improve inclusive language, education, and research for gender-diverse people. We can and must do better to ensure that healthcare, including contraception, is as inclusive as possible. At MCI, we are working towards doing better for all the transgender, non-binary, gender non-conforming, intersex, and gender fluid people. We encourage you to reach out to us with any suggestions regarding improving our content. Together we can achieve the positive change the world needs in order to be more inclusive of all people. Please visit malecontraceptive.org for more information.